Is it now just a corporate church business of profits? Lack of uh, discernment? Or is it willful and intentional deceptiveness in the ranks of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? What used to be called the Mormon Church? Are they being intentionally deceptive? Or do they actually lack discernment? So let's just start with uh, let's just start with something I talked about in another video. So they speak this magic spell, temple dedication. But the words of their mouths, uh, if you listen, the words of their mouths they speak death. Temple dedication, and they say uh, temple is another word for body. So they are enunciating a dead body, as they say, temple dedication. Just listen to the words of their mouths. So how do you get into a, a, a temple that has already been dedicated? What are uh, some of the uh, requirements uh, for going into a Mormon temple? Because you can go to any of the church buildings and go inside. Um, and they're starting to make their church buildings with um, great big giant tombstone images on the front of them. <laughs> One of the uh, requirements is 10% uh, of your income has to be paid to the church. It could be on gross income. Ugh, gross. Ooh, that's gross. Um, or it could be net income. Um, we got you all caught in the net, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, so 10% of your income has to be paid for that. So not only do you have to pay, um, not only do people pay for the gift of living, but now they're paying for their death, not just in death taxes, but now you have to pay for 10% uh, of your income for heavenly uh, existence, which is crazy, right? And uh, so, and then you go in there and they, they do work for the dead, uh, baptisms for the dead, um, marriages for the dead, all these different things. And uh, dead works is what they do. And in order to qualify to be able to do those dead works, you have to pay money that comes from, well, a dead entity, the Bureau of Engraving. Right? In what? <laughs> Engrave. <laughs> it's the Bureau of Engraving Images. Um, and it's money made from paper that's made from cotton. Uh, in a damn nation of cotton picking slavery. Because it's a, a nation of people, um, condemnation, uh, that um, has decided that they're going to make each other pay for the gift of living instead of it being the gift of living. Um, they, they create all these works of scribes and they burden the people. With, you should see people, well, they have all these, that used to walk in the church with all these, you should see, ladies would be carrying these big giant book bags. Sometimes guys would too, but mostly it was ladies carrying these big book bags. And guys would be having backpacks filled with books. And the backpack's the shape of tombstones. <laughs> and they burden the people. Where do they put them? On their shoulders, right? <laughs> That's what backpacks are, right? They're, they're dead trees inside of a, a package on your back that looks like a tombstone. Because they have all those books, people feel like they have to be studying all the time. And they're told, you should be studying the scriptures all the time. Scriptures, that's a magic spell. Um, SC um, could be Satan's church. And then RIP, um, uh, the letters you find on a tombstone, um, and yours, or script yours. Uh, by the way, that's the President's Book of Secrets, the Bible. It's a scripture. It's a script for, for them. Um, and I, we'll talk about that in another um, thing, but it's the Bible, right? So, uh, Bible. It's a golden idol um, with gilded edges, 
and you pronounce it or enunciate it Bible, right? It's the golden calf, Bible. They feel like they got to study all the time because it's, they, they think life is supposed to be a test instead of being a gift. What do you say about that, you know? Some people think there should be a price, and some people think, well, it doesn't seem very, I can't say some people anymore. I just have to say, I think that it should be free. I think the living should be a gift, and I think you should free each other. So you've got this idea of making each other pay for this gift of living with paper made from cotton, because you've all been made a bunch of slaves. I mean, you in, in, in your, Slaves, a corporate church, um, incorporated, what's incorporated, made part of, um, and under the laws of the state. In other words, it's a state church that has been incorporated, it's a church that has been incorporated into the state, and it, and it exists underneath the laws of the state. Engraving, death cults under the ground, under the law, under the state, under under each, under different people, under authority. Um, another magic spell, authority. Um, it's a false god, the false god of Thor. Um, and why do people author things? Well, the first two letters, A-U, that's, um, um, you know, periodically I'll drop in and I'll give you a few ideas or thoughts about things because you've messed up society the human family so much that anyways um so they pronounce a, a, a body um they pronounce a death body uh, of uh, of a building um People will say they're part of the body of Christ. They're trying to possess. They're trying. To, they're trying to be spirits possessing something, um, possessing another person's body. Um, like in the government, they, people are part of a governmental body or a political body, and they're trying to. They, they've turned people into spirits to possess a, a body other than their own, and then they use that to rule their own bodies. You know, so that's why they call them bodies, and they uh, spell it B-O-D-I-E-S. They don't even call themselves, uh, the Mormon church doesn't even, they don't even like this. So they had this big thing for a while. I am a Mormon. It was a huge thing. Everybody loved it. It was a good feeling kind of a thing, because it was about the members of the church instead of the church itself. Um... And so, um, <laughs> there's a saying in the Mormon church, oh, well, the, the people of the church, are, they always say this when people leave the church, they go, oh, well, he was offended or she was offended by somebody or something like that. And then they'll say, well, and then talking to that person, they'll say, look, it's, it's the members of the church aren't perfect, but the church is, so you should stay with the church. And my feeling is the, the opposite of that. That the members of the church are much better than the than the corporate church itself. Um, until the members start acting out the rules and regulations um, and indoctrinations um, that they have been um, deceived with in the church. Why do I why, why do I say deceived? Um, so, if it's not a lack of, uh, of discernment, then it would be absolute, willful, uh, intentional uh, deceptiveness. The name Mormon, if you, if you said a few years ago, if you said to somebody, oh, they're Mormon, or, um, or if you said to somebody, I'm a Mormon, um, they said that they say saying that is now uh, that now what they're saying is that is a win for Satan, or a win for the devil, or win for the adversary. However you want to say it. 
Um, but that is such a lack of uh, discernment in itself. It's, it's insane. Firstly, Mormons have been known um, for the past several decades as, oh, those uh, nice young men with the white shirts and ties on bicycles. Or, oh, they're the folks with the big families. Or, they're the real sweet people. The, um, they're kind of a wholesome church. And their families are wholesome. And they really believe. That's what people thought when they said Mormon. And then, Russell Nelson said, no, 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 no. That's a win for Satan. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Here's another thing about that. Somebody that was part of that church would say, I am a Mormon. Listen to what it says. I am a Mormon. So, um, the sound of that, uh, if you speak Spanish, is I am love. I am a Mormon. Right? It's a subconscious thing. NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. That was unintentional but it worked for good, right? In some ways. Um, the, the actual saying, saying I am a more is a, is a good sound. Um, I'm not uh, uh, saying that the church is a good, because it's not. Uh, but there's lots of good people in the church, and that's where the goodness of the church is, with the people, not with the doctrine, not with the leadership. There are some of the leaders that... Um, that I think are good, but many, if not most, uh, have knowledge of what they're doing. Um, it may not be a, com a complete knowledge, it may not be a full knowledge, but they know that um, they're deceiving people. But uh, so if you're Spanish and you hear, I am a Mormon, somebody say, I am a Mormon, then it sounds to somebody who speaks Spanish, subconsciously, at the very least, that's someone who is a person of love. I, uh, I am a Mormon. I'm a man of love. Right? If you're Spanish, if you're Italian, uh, the Italian word for, for love is uh, amor. Um, in French, it's uh, also amor. All these languages, these romance languages, um, the word for love is amor. Romance. Romans. How did that all get mixed up? <laughs> but, um, so, Russell Nelson himself is a Mormon, is, is a Roman. That um, didn't like the idea of the associations people had with the word Mormon. <laughs> Because it sounded loving instead of obedient. Slaves have to obey. Slaves are told you obey no matter what. It's wrong to criticize leaders of the church, even if the criticism is true. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Um, and so Mormon leaders will say, uh, you always obey the prophets and the leaders of the church, um, even if you think they're wrong. That's morally bankrupt. Which is something that comes from a church with the very rich blessings of mammon. A corporate church of mammon. <laughs> More money. Here's another one. Um, and every, every, pretty much every Christian denomination and some other... Um, I think Buddhists and uh, things have missionaries, right? Missionaries. But that's a magic spell. You know, you got to listen to the words of people's mouths, right? Mission Aries. Aries was an evil um, horned god of death and destruction. And, um, and you see him in the uh, Jewish uh, priests and rabbis that have develop their own secret cabal within uh, Judaism. Um, they enslaved their own people. Uh, they started out with 613 laws, but they've been working on enslaving the whole world. And it's not the Jewish people. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a small group. Like, you know, the shadow government within the government. It's a small group of people that are 
controlling everybody else. But they use other people who think that they're doing, I guess, good to perpetrate evil um, against all the people of the world. All the people of the world, by the way, is the human family. Everybody that you see is family. If you believe in, uh, hi, I'm God. <laughs> um, and we'll talk about that another time. Um, and I know a lot of people don't, or I'm not going to say a lot of people. I know there's some people that don't like to hear that. Because they've, they've done the same thing that the, 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 the Jewish priest did in the temple years and years ago. They said, um, uh, they they idolized and anthropomorphized the Torah. And Christians today do it with the Bible. And, and Mormons do it with the Bible and the Book of Mormon. Actually, more so the Book of Mormon, I guess, than anything. But So, they've anthropomorphized the God of the Bible, they say. And the, God, and the Bible says this, or in the Book of Mormon, it says this. The Book of Mormon doesn't say anything. The Bible doesn't say anything. They're inanimate objects that people have idolized and turned into idols. You see the Jews, they carry around, and they this big celebration, they treat it like it's somebody. It's a thing. Nothing, not, you know, it's a thing. People will obey things. It's crazy. Even, <laughs> we'll talk about that another time. Because people obey things that aren't even living all the time. Um... And it was done, and it's not that it's always a, a bad idea, but it's done in a way that has been used for the purposes of evil. So, um, but missionaries, you know, the, uh, Ares is a, a terrible evil god. Now, Mormon missionaries, they always are in groups of two, and they call themselves elders. Now, groups of two... You know, and then they call themselves elder. Why? It's it's neuro linguistic programming. Um, they call themselves elders. Why? Because what what do people hear? What's a saying about elders that people always say? Respect your elders. So there's a subconscious thing that is in play with some people who are susceptible to that. Let me say that a bit. So there's this subconscious thing um, that. Um, some people will unknowingly um, adhere to without actually doing it on purpose. Well, that's unknowingly, right? Um, so missionaries. Now, here's another word for you. Uh, patriarch. And we'll use words that are similar also. Patreon and patriot. Right? So, Patri Patreon, hmm, Patreon, who was on the tree? Oh, that was a serpent. Patriot, well, you ought to pay, right? You ought to. And so, what do churches and states want you to do? They, they think you ought to pay. They think you ought to pay. And so, um, that's how they've created this society based on death and the Bureau of Engraven Images. And it's, the whole thing is a death cult. That's in some of my other videos. And then we have patriarch and patriarchy. Well, patriarchy. Now, Mormons will say, you know, keys of the priesthood and stuff like that. But patriarch. But that's a C-H. And whenever you see C-H, eh, like church, see her, church, <laughs> the two religions of church and state, serpent tree eight, right? Pay tree our church. So now they're saying the tree is the, 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 their church is that tree. And what tree is that? That's a tree of death, the death cult society. And, or, pay, try our church. Tree. Try. Right? Um, there's always this number three with that patriarchy. Right? 
um, a tribunal, which is people judging other people, a tri, which is a um, persecution of someone when you try them, and then uh, you have uh, patriarch church, patri, our church, patrio, our church, and the, and the church presidency is three people in it, and and uh, the uh, Roman Egyptian death cult um, has three branches: uh, judicial, legislative, and executive. They're trying to enslave a whole world of people in 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 different um, different types of cults. There's two religions, church and state. Uh, so <laughs> two. <laughs> and that's another thing that the Mormon missionaries do. If there's two of you gonna meet with two of them, they'll bring a third. Because they always have to outnumber you. Because it's not about equality. It's about domination. Condemnation. A damnation. So. And then LDS. Right? This stands for Latter day Saints. But those are the letters for Lucifer, Devil, and Serpent. <laughs> Is that a lack of discernment or intentional deception? Uh, so, anyways. Um, and there's others too. I, I'm not going to go into uh, all of them right now. But you have like um, uh, the First Presidency. Well, the First Presidency. Uh, and who is he? That's General George. And uh, General George is doing what? Well, he's on his he's on his knees praying. Well, God doesn't want you on your knees. I can promise you that. Um, and God doesn't want you on your knees. I can assure you of that. Um, But what is, what is he doing? He's, he's praying, right? He's a man of prey. So you've heard of bird of prey. Well, that's an eagle. President, um, it, it, he's a bird of prey. In fact, he's been called um, the eagle. Of, I can't remember which president they used that nickname with. But now the president rides in, in a limousine called the Beast. <laughs> mark of the Beast, right? Um, a price mark. I want you to want you uh, paying for the gift of living not a free market a price market <laughs> um, so he's he's um he's he's kneeling down he's a and he's and then he's going to go fight he's a knee fight and who's he who's he a knee fight with sam Uncle Sam, slave and master. First Presidency, General George Washington, general authority he is, right? Is this church based on a government that's not based on anything except a mockery of God? Um, so, first presidency, right? General authority. That's that false god Thor. They make themselves into false gods. Have I, have I not said ye are gods? Um, and then, now, of course, you've got uh, stake president, right? Because you've got to have stake for the president. We're going to talk about this in another video, too. The Mormon church has the largest cattle ranch in the world well in the United States I know uh, but uh, largest cattle ranch in the world and what is that doing that's just providing fruit for the tree of death because they're going to kill all those cows 
and then they'll have the hide and then they'll, you know, and they'll hide themselves. Clothed in unrighteousness, covered in blood. Those that reject me, they love death. The death cult societies and death cult religions and death cult governments. And they love death. And they're thankful for death. And they love the idea of people paying a price for the gift of living. And that's hold. Because it helps the algorithm. Be sure and like and subscribe to video. But I don't like this video. I don't like that I have to make this video. It's necessary that I make it. But I don't like making the video. But if you don't like it, uh, or um, I think you're really supposed to like it in order for the algorithm to want to share it to other people. Um, and if you don't subscribe to the channel, uh, that doesn't help any. But I don't like the word scribes either because they burden the people. They keep writing all this stuff that goes in, all these lies that they put in different kinds of libraries. But they're always libraries about books, scribes, scribing things down, you know. And yes, we do uh, what we call writing. But all of our, <laughs> almost all of the writing that we do is based on um, magic spells that weren't necessarily put there for, for the um, for the love of humanity, for the love of the human family. <laughs> so, anyways, um, like, subscribe, show the video to a friend, um, send the video to a friend. That's a big thing that you can do. I'm going to say this because um, it is vital to our human family. Is that this idea that they people have been given, this idea of waiting until you're dead and then you're going to experience heaven, is a crazy um, a, a, a belief of lunacy. That's why it's the United States, right? Lunacy, right? Lunatics. It's about the moon, right? People get crazy, and and yet, um, so you have uh, the moon and then the stars, right? Stars, and and um, a, a damnation led into the darkness of night. A United States, United Kingdom, United Arab Emirates, um, and uh, so you have uh, United Kingdom and uh, Christian uh, Christianity. You have the United Arab Emirates and Islam, and you have uh, the United States and uh, Judaism. 666. But the, the idea of waiting for you to die, and then you get to experience heaven, that's very convenient for the people that are the slave masters. That's, that's a very convenient belief for you to have for the slave masters. But here's the truth. Living is supposed to be a gift. Living, um, and you should be experiencing having heaven in the present. Because the present is a gift, right? Present, gift, gift, present. We're in the present moment. You should make it a gift to each other. Instead of a, a, instead of a, a, a cost of living, you can make it the gift of living. That would be a good goal. Right? <laughs> and imagine going to work every day knowing that you don't have to worry about uh, uh, somebody, um, bills, and, and all these different pressures in life. And instead, you get to go, instead of taking a job that you have to do to pay the bills, you can look for what it is that you love to do. Because you don't have to talk people into doing what they love to do. They just love to do it. I like doing landscape uh, design. I love it, in fact. And I like to get out there and be a part of, of making those things, making that vision happen. Making in a, a small area a little better uh, version of heaven. And so that was the goal. That was the plan. All 
we had to do as a human family was work together, keep each other free, don't make each other pay for the gift of living, and create or and to and make the most perfect heaven we could possibly envision together. So you've been given abundance to start with. You can eat one uh, fruit and the seeds of it can make thousands. You can eat one vegetables and the seeds from that can make thousands. So it's impossible, really impossible, if you just, with just the smallest amount of effort, with the smallest amount of, it's, it's very impossible with the smallest amount of thoughtfulness for there not to be a world of abundance. And there's every type of topography you can possibly imagine around the world. Google for a little while amazing um, natural scenery around the world or amazingly beautiful places around the world. Google something similar to that. And just look at all the different kinds of things. And so no matter what time it is in your uh, life of uh, 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 desiring different types of uh, environments and experiences you might have a part the time in your life where you go i just want to live by the beach i just want to live by the ocean i just want to you know i want to hear the sound of the the waves and uh, the people laughing and having fun that kind of thing and then later on you might go you know what i would like to spend some time in a in a cabin in the mountains or um or uh, i want to live in the big city for a little while or um, things, you know, so, uh, or I want to live in, in a beautiful farmland. There's so many, look at this, look, 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 <laughs> it's heaven. So let's make it the experience of heaven as well, right? So we can do it really fast. It's a bunch, to make heaven is a bunch of work. But it's so much fun, right? <laughs> it's the human family, not the human race. You don't need to be trying to get ahead of each other that way, right? It's the human family. And your value is not a high value person based on your social status or your um, uh, bank account. Your value is just because you live. Your value is beyond any amount of money that the, you could ever possibly imagine. Money is the ultimate limiter of all things. Uh, of all things good. It's not that you can't do some good with money. Sure, you can. You can give some money to people and, and help them in bad situations to lift themselves up. But ultimately... Money is a limiter. You got to always work within a budget. I don't even know why they call it a budget. That's a terrible name for it. But, anyways, um, it, work within the limit instead of, you know, they say work within the budget, but that's not the truth. It's work within the limit. But they don't want to say that to you because then they're, they're making it too easy for you to hear what it is that they're saying. So they say work within the budget. That makes that makes the limit sound like uh, if you say work within the budget, that sounds like you're being responsible. If you say work within the limit, that sounds like you're oppressed. And that's the truth. But it doesn't have to be that way because we're the human family and we can make heaven. That's the goal. That's the plan. And God is not what you think. God is not a superpower. That's what governments are. Governments have the power to destroy the whole world. Right? I've got the power to show you how to make heaven. And it's not really a power. It's just a guidance. It's just love. You know, it's just love. I don't know if guidance is the best word because every time I hear the word guidance, I think counselor. And counselor is a, not my favorite word because they've taken it instead of being just from somebody who, who guides and directs to also someone who is manipulative and uh, deceptive uh, within the law um, and there's a there's another evil thing evil 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 but you know we'll talk about that actually it's in in my other video um 
Zeitgeist Deceived uh, 2023, The Freedom Deception. Or Zeitgeist 2023, The Freedom Deception. Um, and then Zeitgeist Deceived 2024. Um, that's another good one. Um, False Government Gods. There's another good one. You should watch that one. Um, electric um, Election Fraud. It's a trick to get power, right? Electric is... It's a... It's a it's a play on words that they use to show you without actually showing you. You know that thing hidden in plain sight? So, you know, electricity is also called power. And so if you uh, have a, something that's electric, it's a trick to get you to elect someone to rule over you. In other words, it's a trick for you to, to look for a master so that you can be a slave. Um, and... Those aren't things that we want to do, but anyways. Um, somebody said that I should do a live stream because I would um, uh, get get more views. Um, I'm really um, not all that familiar with it. Uh, this uh, type, types of technology is, is um, not my passion, not my, not my first love, right? But... I know there's people that are good at that. So maybe I could get somebody, <laughs> maybe somebody out there will say, hey, I can help you with that. I can help you make videos and um, we can have some places where you can speak and talk to people. And um, I don't know. I don't know if that's something that all y'all care about, but if it is, um, I'm happy to do it and I'm happy to do that free. Um, I might need some help with gas because I'm not very rich. Or um, I, I won't fly on a plane. I don't want to do that unless it's private, because not because not not for money reasons, but um, I um, it is a evil of uh, uh, ginormous proportions to walk through uh, 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 a TSA checkpoint inside there and have people. Um, decide whether they're going to touch you in ways that they shouldn't um, or uh, do things to you in ways that they shouldn't or look through your clothes or any of that stuff. It's, it's, it is uh, it is just it is gross and sick and disgusting. And how anybody could take their family through a TSA checkpoint is beyond me. I mean, that just, it, you know. Oh, sure. Here's my wife and kids. Touch them wherever you want. And you, turn your hands this way or that way so you can say that you're not doing something as evil as off, you know. That's like saying, you know, oh, I blew up a country with an atom bomb instead of a I don't know, any other kind of bomb, abomination, <laughs> abomination.